Lindsay is here. She's a Republican strategist joining us live on set. Christian, thanks so much for coming of on. Of course. You know, focusing back on that, and by the way, to be very factual, this this was removed from X, mm -hmm. uh, formerly Twitter, but mm -hmm. they did put this out there. Yes. And we understand, by the way, that they, there are families, Palestinians, that don't want any part of what Hamas has done. They want to be able to escape. They were given time. Mm -hmm. uh, we're told that some were able to, to are able to get out. I, I forget, I have the actual number. 250,000, by the way, fled Gaza already. Um, but this picture itself, which was removed, is different. Again, showing the paraglider here. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about that and the divide in the country? It's incredibly disgraceful. I mean, there is no... Uh and there's nothing to say more than the fact that these people are supporting terrorists. If you do not condemn what is occurring, you are condoning it. And I think it's as blatant and as apparent as that. We need to condemn what Hamas is doing. Um, there's no equivocation. There's no moral equivalent equivalency. There is no nuance. Um, so it's incredibly disheartening yeah. when we see Rashida Tlaib, we see AOC, we see the squad come out in support of uh, people or d d not condemning what is occurring with Hamas. I mean, Rashida Tlaib was asked about babies being beheaded and she remained silent. How is that possible? Yeah, many, many questions. Again, uh, therefore, again, a lot of so-called squad appearing not to want to answer these que questions again. Uh, but burning of the flag, the Israeli flags, et cetera, just knowing what has happened to these innocent civilians there, these these Israelis, uh, which was brought on by Hamas. I'll move on really quickly before we let you go with uh, the speakership vote. Yes, that's supposed to kick off here soon. Um, they're going, they've met behind closed doors. They're trying to get behind at least one of the two, Scalise, Jordan, possibly Hearn jumps in if they can't even do that. Where do you see this going today? Well, I think the Republicans need to coalesce and put party politics aside and really move forward because at this particular point in time, if they do not have a speaker by the end of this week, it is pure ego. Um, both of those options are incredibly strong. Any of those options are strong. We need to move forward. It will be incredibly detrimental to the Republican Party, to our nation, and to Israel if we do not have a House speaker. I hope President Trump, as the leader of the party, has, has gone behind the scenes and made calls and that the Republicans have also work together over the weekend. I know they were off, but it's, at a certain point in time, we need to get back to work here. He's thrown the endorsement. Speaking of Trump, he's thrown his endorsement behind Jim Jordan yes. officially. Uh, again, so we'll see that when that tally comes in, we'll bring it to you live. Chris Lenzo will check back in with you just a bit. Mm -hmm.